Morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to talk about the individual words today, so let's get started with that. Nehemiah 6 1. Someone needs to hear Nehemiah 6 1. Hang the gate doors in your life. Nehemiah 6 1. Someone needs to hear that. Hang the gate doors in your life. With Matthew chapter 5, verse 30, which shows us how to do that. Now, I'm not talking about the, the, the doors that, um, this particular doors that God will shut and no man open, and God opens and no man shuts. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about doors that we leave open in our lives to allow sin in. It's very important that we do that because the enemy takes notice. You see that in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1. The enemy noticed that the doors were not hung. So hang the doors in your life. And Matthew, through the Holy Spirit, the Lord led me to Matthew chapter 5, verse 30, that shows us how to hang those doors. Oftentimes, the process of hanging those doors and closing that gap in the the wall is to remove particular things in order for that gate uh, to be effective and that action of hanging uh, the gate of the doors or the hanging the doors onto the gate is to remove something else. The next one, someone needs to hear Romans chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Every one of us is a servant to something or someone. However, being a servant or slave to righteousness is the only way that we can be set free from sin. The only way to be set free from sin is to be a slave of righteousness. I know that doesn't make any sense to some people listening to this video, but based on the word of God... The Lord says, don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your path. Trust in me with all your heart. So every one of us is a servant to something or someone. However, being a servant or slave to righteousness is the only way that we can be set free from sin. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to be a servant or a slave to righteousness. That is actually good news. And for the real believer that has actually experienced that, they know that that is good news and that it, that demonstrates and uh, freedom in the believer's life. The next one is Nehemiah, Nehemiah reference again, Nehemiah chapter six, verse three. There are some battles that we are not to engage in. There's some battles that we are not to engage in because when we engage in those battles, it's only to trip us up. It's only to um, cause us to stumble and to get into arguments and debates and to situations that we're not even called to even be involved in. Second Samuel 6, 6 to 7 is the next one. And when they had came to Nachon's uh, threshing floor, Yuza put out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it for the oxen stumbled. Then the anger of the Lord arose against Yuza, and God struck him there for his error, and he died there by the ark of God. There's someone that's trying to do the same thing. They're taking upon themselves someone else's burden. And instead of like Yuza did, he grabbed a hold of the burden to take it upon himself instead of helping the individual. And you're not helping the individual like Yuza wasn't helping the ox by taking upon the ark himself because he was not supposed to touch that ark. There's specific guidelines of who were to touch and to operate and move that ark from place to place. And he took it upon himself to go against a direct command from God. And he suffered as a result of it. Actually, he died. And there's people that are suffering now, I think, because they choose to touch the ark of God in the same way. They choose to take upon something that should be someone else's. There's some people that are going through things in their life and they just need to go through it. You don't need to be a part of it. You don't need to touch that because it's going to directly involve you and it's going to affect you uh, dangerously. So that's the prophetic word. God bless you. Have a great day.